in the first report, um, I commended everyone for um, the front that we are carrying out. Um, but I, I hope you don't take that to say that tomorrow we really need help. Um, we're talking about carrying out five different action tomorrow, including a picket line, an informational picket line in front of the post office to say who post office, our post office, the people post office. Um, I'm talking about right in front, besides the stage being on 31st Street and Fulton and Union Square and 149th, all those particular areas. We have some other complexities that we want to deal with too. The question of the war of Iran, the question of Syria is very much on the coalition mind because we're not going to let our workers be torn away by war jingles and forget about $5.4 billion being taken away from their services and from their job and they say go to a war and then their struggle here, their sturdy measure that they're actually taking on will be sort of depleted. So Sir Flounder Sumau is speaking as a United um, Anti-War Coalition for that very reason to bring to the workers there the very important reason of us staying together and not being pulled apart by war or by jobs and so forth or by racism. We have an orientation that we really want people to actually sort of take orders by. We're in a military situation tomorrow. And then sometimes you have to take orders when you're on the ground from a military combat. That's why we have centralized organization and leadership and pro people who are taking care of the program and disseminating. Tomorrow, what's really happening is election in the union, APWU. Uh, it's an election going on. And you know what happened. It's a 28 slate opposition that's going on in the postal worker election. Along with that, we heard that it's another slate. Why that's important to us? Because the union that we're working with, which we're talking about all these jobs and how it's representing our service, is having an election. And we know how an election go inside of a union. They're fighting for power, and it can get very bloody. And we've already been pulled on. So tomorrow, when we be at Union Square, and someone come to you, and, which is a postal worker, and say, well, this is my slate, and this is this and that. Don't be confused by it, because like we told the opposition in the meeting that we went to, that our task is to fight against union busting, privatization, and racism, and all of you in the union. That's our position. But tomorrow, we will be pulled on at Union Square when we go to uh, uh, 31st Street, that will happen, and we should be aware of it. And it's clear, it's very clear, but that will happen. Another um, something that else we should be aware of, um, National Action Network approached us in the form of speaking on the program. And this is from a youth group that we commend. They call the action to actually um, hold your mail up for April 6th for um, five or six days, taking in at once, write letters, show how the community and the workers have an impact on the mail. The union is looking at it in another direction of some sort of work slowdown. We see it as a very important action, but we also know that Reverend Al Sharpton, more than anyone else, is the Democratic Party. The alliance here tomorrow is very real. We are leading a particular struggle with workers, with our mass organization, and we're coalescing with many different forces, including people from the National Action Network, because they are saying at this particular time that they want to intervene on saving the jobs of 570 something thousand jobs of postal workers and services. That's our task tomorrow. So again, we call for everyone to really come out, 
redouble your efforts, go home and call someone on the way home, think who you could bring tomorrow, be very flexible, your assignment might be one thing tomorrow, and the next five minutes we might ask you to do something else because that's how we need to shift from one rally to the next rally and to our greatest uh, responsibility. People should see Comrade uh, Sharon, Comrade Ann, for any time or anyone that you would suggest to take on assignment tomorrow. Thank you, comrades.